Welcome back to Fox News Alert. North Korea reportedly readying another missile test less than 48 hours after claiming to have successfully tested a hydrogen bomb. Dr. Nicole Sapphire is a radiologist with a board certification in physics, and she is here to break down the physical impacts of such a powerful nuclear weapon. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me, Heather. So this is the sixth nuclear bomb test for North Korea since 2006. Why is this so significant now, this one? What's the difference? The fundamental difference between a hydrogen bomb and the atomic bombs mm -hmm. that we've seen in the past is essentially their detonation process. Atomic bombs, how that works is you take something like uranium or plutonium and you break apart those atoms in something called fission. And that releases a ton of energy and that's why you have a bomb. And that was the previous five. That's what we've seen. Okay. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and then also the tests that we've seen in the past. With a hydrogen bomb, it actually starts out with a very small fission reaction, but that creates a secondary reaction inside called fusion. You have radioactive hydrogen particles that now are coming together for an even larger explosion that can be anywhere up to a thousand times more powerful than that of an atomic bomb. So a thousand, up to a thousand times more powerful than Correct. Hiroshima. Yes. So uh, in terms of the after effects, what could happen? Well, it can be broken up into two parts, mm -hmm. immediate effects and then long-term effects. The immediate effects, if you've seen any of the pictures before and you see the big puff of smoke yeah. and a big flash of light, it releases thermal energy and that travels at the speed of light. So immediately you have heat and intense light just going. It can go for 20 miles and anyone in that area who is not protected, the light can blind them. It can either be permanent or it can be temporary, but then the heat itself at the center, at the core of that blast, mm -hmm. can be 300 times the temperature when someone's cremated. So bodies can actually be taken down to their mineral form. So, and cancer Acutely, result? the acute radiation poison, you can have the skin sloughing off, you have cells mm -hmm. dying, it affects your DNA several years later. And by the way, all of this we know because we study what has happened with Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So that is where, that's the basis of our medical radiation knowledge. So down this term, like four to seven years, you can actually see leukemias. And then even longer than that, you see more ho hollow organ or solid organ cancers forming, liver cancer, kidney cancers, yeah. long-term effects. So obviously also an impact to the entire environment, not yeah. just humans dealing with this. For, of course, of course. Anything yeah. can be affected. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. Dr. Nicole Sapphire this morning. Thank you.